podcast about uh some stuff and things uh usually the way it works is that allison will have a topic and she'll bring it and then gary and i won't know anything about the topic hi i'm chris by the way i'm jazz sequence on the internet uh that's gary he's binary gary on the internet allison plus who's alice allison in real life um <laughs> and uh so allison will bring a topic and we'll talk about not how we don't know what the topic is a, is and try to come up with uh um, new meanings for whatever the topic is, uh, but um, that's only when Gary is is present and not in witness protection. Which he I uh, I feel like you shouldn't call out that witness protection thing. Uh, I feel it was like probably it's, in terms of service. It, it's, somewhere. It's, <laughs> well, I didn't read them. It's a lot if, of if you were in witness protection, I think we would call it out anyway. <laughs> because because we love you so much. <laughs> Scary thing, <laughs> witness protection. <laughs> Formerly worked for the mob in <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't have a checkered past quite like that. Don't you? That's exactly what someone in witness protection would say. That's yeah, that was actually verbatim from the manual they gave. <laughs> <laughs> it's those canned responses they give you to practice. It's it's interesting because the manual is on like flash paper. So if I ever feel like I'm about to be made, I just light the manual on fire and it's gone. Trying to purple shirt to website yeah purple shirt it's a purple shirt day apparently <laughs> must be a thursday <laughs> darn i never actually scheduled this post to go because i needed to finish uploading it that's why okay i don't have something like purple shirt because most of my clothes are black so it's pretty like yeah also it's wearing black again <laughs> yeah we're we're at the point Same. of packing where i uh I'm like well i need to pack a bunch of clothes i I believe last time we spoke, I talked about how I needed to get rid of more clothing. And instead of doing that, I just forced it on a suitcase, like took everything that hangs up and put it in the suitcase. And then I had to sit on the suitcase to make it latch. As uh, you do. Yeah, and, uh, and it's latched. So now I will not think about those clothes again until sometime next week when I open that suitcase and go, God, there's a lot of stuff in here. It just explodes. Here. Yeah. Yeah, so how did you break your nose? Oh, I was opening a suitcase full of my clothing. That's not a very uh, good story. <laughs> no, it's not. But um, so I have like t-shirts and shorts and two pairs of long pants that I kept out, thinking they'll cover me for a while. Excellent, Gary. That was a great story. It took that that was exactly the amount of time I needed to uh, finish scheduling the uh, <laughs> episode to go out tomorrow. <laughs> well, how about we just jump into the topic? Excellent. That's Probably the seems topic, like the best way to save this episode. The topic today. I don't know is, why it needs to be saved. <laughs> we always need saving. The topic today is Iamisu. Iamisu. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm going to ask you to spell it. Spell yes. it for Chris. <laughs> I Y. I Y. A M I S U. Okay, that is so, not that is not uh, how it was spelled in my head. Maybe I'm saying it wrong too. That's possible. Oh, please don't say well, that. Welcome to another w word that I've only ever seen in print. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, I think that the benefit of that though is. Uh, I mean, it really like, doesn't make a difference as far as we're concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't immediately. Yeah. yeah, I think at the end, if you were like, oh, I have a correction on the pronunciation, I don't think it, we would be like, oh, well, now. <laughs> yeah, now it makes sense. <laughs> Only you had started off with that. Okay, so Iamisu um, is obviously related to tiramisu. And, oh, and that's what I was, that's why I thought dessert. Okay. Right. Yep. <laughs> and tiramisu, as everyone knows, has different layers or tiers uh, for different types of cake and, and whatever. So it's, it's a multi tiered cake. So iamisu does not have the tiers 
it's just uh, a cake, like a, a sponge cake sort of thing, like a ladyfinger sort of cakey thing, and then like the 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 coffee cream chocolate sort of uh, feeling. It's, it's 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 if a tiramisu, actually maybe it's just ladyfingers. Maybe it's just ladyfingers with a with a with a um with a, a cream topping thing. That's what I'm gonna say. It's, it's definitely a dessert, and it's definitely cake related. Well, as is our custom, we'll explore the etymology of the word, which yeah. I'm pretty sure is is not really yeah. bugs, and that's entomology. I don't remember which is which. <laughs> One of those is what we're exploring, and the word is clearly Japanese, so that's of no help at all. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I mean, I, I don't even begin to understand. Like, I'm uh, not sure. You, you're not sure it's Japanese. Well. I'm not sure that when Japanese is translated into English that there are Ys. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not... No, I'm wrong. <clears throat> because, as we all know from Street Fighter, uh, Ryu, obviously, is spelled R-Y-U. So I, I'm Was definitely... Was Ryu Japanese or Korean? I don't know. <laughs> but the game is Japanese, so I just yeah. assume I'm yeah. bad. I'm a horrible human being. <laughs> I I I don't know these things. I just assumed he was Japanese because the game was Japanese. I think it's a fair assumption. I didn't realize the game was Japanese, so. I... Well, like all games are. Japanese. I mean, like. <laughs> I mean that. Well, that's <laughs> really that much. My thinking. You pretty much like throw a dart at a wall <laughs> of games. From the from that particular time period, and probably you'd hit a game from Japan. Well, but I think there's a difference between like a game from Japan, like a Japanese studio, versus a game that don't drink that gross. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking lizard poop again. We had some rain yesterday. I so really wish cuddled. I had been going like this at the same time. <laughs> 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 I'd just be like, what? And it's like swatted out of my own hand. <laughs> Don't drink the Riyamisu. So um, uh, we were talking about how I was okay. racist. No, I was uh, trying to suggest that the fact that it was made by a Japanese studio does not indicate the game itself is Japanese. Because I think that, that it was a function of, oh, we need this game for our system. Or someone was like, oh, we could build a game for this system. Like, yeah, I want to say. It? And they were I like, say... oh, the, well, the best studios are, are, are Japanese. But if I, I can also say... veer this back to the original standpoint, which is whether or not Ys exist. Yeah, right. I, I do want to. Oh. I, I do want to circle back okay. and, and say I, I do think. <laughs> I do think that Street Fighter was at least uh, intended to some of it take place in Japan. Um, I have I have memories of of there being like Mount Fuji in the background. Of course, again, it could have just been a mountain, and like I'm. I'm like placing it. Yeah, I'm yeah. placing it in my head. Maybe it's just all in my head. Maybe I'm just you're really, talking. really racist. I've never heard of Street Fighter. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you might be thinking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, honestly. That, no. <laughs> Not. In the De definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, did that have Mount Fuji in the background? I don't know. I okay. I thought you were making a point there. Yes. No. The, this I, this that, was all. This let's was be, all, let's uh, make one thing clear. That's very unlikely to happen here. This was all <laughs> derivative for me uh, positing that Ys are not uh, in yeah, yeah. Japanese words when translated into English, which I think is incorrect. But my my evidence was Ryu from Street Fighter, <laughs> which is. But probably I think there's probably the other box. evidence. None that comes to mind well, immediately. Miyazaki. There you go. I, I, yeah, the, <laughs> I, I was just thinking about actually like the local Japanese restaurant and the menu, and I'm pretty sure yaki are, soba. Yeah, there you go. But that's not that's like in the, the teriyaki. The the there we go. There's <laughs> one. Yeah, that's not in the middle. Or that's not in the beginning of the word. That's in the middle. <laughs> so Iemisu if teriyaki is what we're hanging our hat on, but why is this in Japanese? Iemisu could well be Japanese. And I did think it might have been Japanese because it sounds like it, but I, I'm going to stand firm to my belief that it is actually related to tiramisu. Uh, I once was carded when I ordered tiramisu. Because sometimes it has uh, rum in it, I believe. Yeah. yeah. 
And, and I was not, and I was not old enough, or was I? I can't remember. And because because the the alcohol is added later to sort of soak into the cake, um, it's not like burned off like it would be otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. I was carded at Walmart buying whiteout several years ago, and I was buying whiteout and. Um, How and much there, whiteout were you, you buying? Need, you need to be of a certain a age. single container. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I need your ID. I'm like, for what? But everybody makes mistakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have told. I, I was just, I was so. 18, Allison. <laughs> I was so baffled. And I'm like, you're what only allowed to, make to buy see, to buy this. You're only allowed 18? to hide your mistakes if you're over 18. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a weird thing, right? What were you buying whiteout for anyway? This was years who, ago. I, who, I mean, uses, I who uses whiteout anymore? Who uses paper? And, well, what nobody, because you can't buy it. What planet are you on? <laughs> I, well, that's why I had to buy it, because I certainly didn't have it like available. I needed it for a specific purpose, and I'm sure that I used it, and it dried out, and I threw it away. It to, like, white out it does dry paper. out very fast. I always liked the like the tape stuff that came in those little dispensers. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if you need to be 18 to buy that. Probably not, Gary. Well... I I, I only what did I need it for? I think I it was a, I think it was uh, related to a passport document or something, like uh, an application. Uh, okay, that's I suppose that's fair. I just cross out my scribbles and <laughs> initial. This is yeah. fine. <laughs> um, last time I used whiteout was in I probably high school because I it was when I had my zine and that was the only thing that really mattered. Really was my zine and and it not having errors and typos and shit. And you huffed it. No. Okay. You're the reason we have a minimum age. There, I, you're, yeah, I mean, you're the one the getting it in Florida and getting carded for it. You obviously look suspicious. Well, number one, in Florida, I think everyone looks suspicious. <laughs> number two. <laughs> That's fair. Number two, in Florida, I feel like white art has to be like on the lower rung of, ex of like, you know, drugs. Oh, so is, is it above or below a hairspray? I would think equivalent. Okay. What about, Ro what about Robitussin? Where is it on, below. on below Robitussin? Okay. Yeah. What this about Dayquil? This is a weird, uncomfortable conversation. Dayquil is equivalent to Robitussin. Dayquil is the same as Robitussin? Okay. Can I tell you my Nyquil story? Are there, are there like, are there like, like, like tiers that are related to like the type of thing it is? Like if it's, if it's some sort of like, like like medicine is like one level and then we have another level which is like not medicine but contains alcohol or something and then we have like rubbing alcohol is that how it goes <laughs> uh, <Weird hierarchy. laughs> well thanks now i have to think about that and <laughs> i um like medicine just generally kicks my ass like it's really effective on me when i take medic medication um I suppose it depends on what how you define effective, though. Um, like in the sense that, like, if there's side effects, like, well, I'll, let me, I'll, I will expand. So that's a different so had, sort of efficacy. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was, I had a, I had a really nasty cold, and I was doing like the Dayquil, Nyquil thing, and I ran out of Dayquil, and it was like time for another dose. I was home from work. Uh, I don't think the kids were born at this time, and I was like, oh, I need, I need, I'll just take some Nyquil. And uh, and I took the night. Yeah, just take night while during the day. <laughs> well, I know, and I knew like, well, okay, I'm home. I can just I can just sleep. It's fine. I'll sit on the couch. And when I like 30 minutes after I take night while, like I'm falling asleep. Like it's just happening. I'm dropping over where I am. I mean, maybe not falling over, but I'm ill, so I'm sitting down anyway. Well, as I was dozing off, my phone rang and it was a customer. So I answered the phone. Oh no! And I'm like, I can't really talk right now because I just <laughs> took night while. Uh. It, which turned into like a 45 minute conversation where I pretty much just like went through like business plan and how we were going to position as a customer and all sorts of proprietary data. Cause I just was super loopy. I remember like I was a, I was a walker on the phone. So I would get up to like walk while I talked with him and I stood up and everything spun. So I sat back down. I must've stood up and sat down like five times during the duration of this call. And then I hung up and I laid the phone down next to me and, like head back asleep, woke up the phone was like in my hand still, just where I, where I fell. Um, so yeah, if I take Nyquil, I will be asleep in a. I can I can see the the Boromir uh, meme 
uh, one does not simply take NyQuil during the day. <laughs> oh, well, DayQuil does, I mean, DayQuil is it, I don't fall asleep, but I, you know, like DayQuil, like one of the things they say is, you know, you may, uh, may cause you to sweat or, you know, heart palpitations or whatever. I'm like, buckle up, you know, like my face gets like flushed. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I knew someone who, uh, took DayQuil, like, recreationally i guess um i mean it wasn't really for fun it was because he because he had developed a dependency on it uh Mm, and if he didn't take dayquil then he would like basically suffer withdrawal so he took dayquil like every day yeah i don't know if that's recreational so much as like addiction (laughs) well i mean yeah I think it started out recreationally, though. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh. Can can we have a refresher what the word of the day is? Uh, iamisu. Iamisu. Which, as I've yeah. already said, is a, is sort of like tiramisu, except iamisu is just la- just the lady fingers that are sort of soaked in something with a with a cream sort of topping. I'm gonna get meta for a minute here. Meta. I okay. feel meta as I think through this, the the topics that Allison brings. Anything that seemed Japanese to me as uh, the, has always been a description of a certain way of understanding the world. That may or may not be true. Has it though? But I feel like it's true. Huh? What was the thing, was it, uh, uh, Kintsugi was the thing where you fix porcelain objects? K- with Kintsugi, yeah. Yeah. That might be the only other topic I can remember. I but actually, uh, I actually so that probably stumbled across a, a video game process. called Kintsugi. Oh, really? Where you literally just take broken th- broken things and put them back together. That is the wow. Game. So, Iemisu is of course the uh, uh, process of um, tracing your family history. So, so genealogy it happens. Yeah, but it's a pretty common occurrence in uh, Japanese culture right around the time you had a midlife crisis. Understanding the roots is super important. So you, that, you would be like, I'm why? going to, like, as a verb or a noun? Well, a noun, the, the description of the the general practice. So, I don't know so, a verb version of it. I think just so, research. I would say that in Japanese. This just Probably reminds why. me of that whole like section of the Bible where it's like, and Joseph begat Abraham, and Abraham begat so and so, which is literally just like a family tree, um, yeah. and and it makes me wonder if that's the reason why that is in the Bible is because somebody was going through a midlife crisis and needed to like trace their lineage, like okay, I need to get this yeah. down on paper, <laughs> and then it just wound up in the Bible somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it was really so- just notes <laughs> yeah it was really just notes to self like just like i need to figure out like where i came from there um i've been uh <laughs> i've been i've been in a place i've been um doing a lot of research on hebrew recently and like understanding you uh, as you do yeah uh, pre-move pre-move yeah, hebrew yeah, study pre-move hebrew study yeah <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> it's, it's all right we've all been there it's typical um, i mean <laughs> So one of the things that uh, I I have been wondering is that, um, like, conceptually, right, brought up in Christianity, Judaism uh, was a precursor to Christianity. So what I learned was that people that are Jewish that are not Christian, it's because they were born Jewish. Okay. Um, but then I'm going, well, if there's if there's not, but but looking at the Old Testament as I learned it, in a vacuum, there's no like mandate for um, group gathering or, uh, you know, there's like this, the necessity to, to do uh, Passover every year and a few other celebrations, but there's no mandate for like, you know, the community that you see in like a synagogue and whatnot. Uh, so this is what led me down to trying to understand uh, Hebrew. And um, in any case, the short story for me, is that there's like the language itself is very limited in number of words. So as a result, there's there's tons and tons of interpretation in the text, in the Torah. And so there are, uh, and the concept is that uh, as a practicing Jew, 
interpreting the Torah is something that you do and not something that your rabbi does for you. Your rabbi will do it, of course, but in addition to the rabbi's interpretation, you will have your own interpretations and understanding. And, uh, and they, can, they can be wrong uh, or they can be right. Uh, or, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the parsing of the limited language to understand what was actually being said here. Uh, in any case, the importance of the hierarchy, at least I think, based on my limited study on it, right, is, is I think that there's like that tracing back of roots had to do with like what, what literally like what your tribe had been through, right? So understanding, like knowing the history of the tribe, like I know this person was of this person, this person. As a result, I know that they did, uh, they had, they kept these kind of uh, wildlife and this is where they lived and uh, this were their, this was their practices, you know? Like there was, it was more than just a who was related to who, but a more of like, well, this person was this. And so you knew how they acted because of the history of their, of their family tree. Um, wow, that was a super boring segue. I'm sorry. All of which was completely ruined by Mr. King James. Good job. Good on you. <laughs> so, well, there's, well, I need to study the King James translation. Well, though the King James translation, why, why would the King James trans translation matter for the Old Testament? Anyway. Wow, tackling the deep questions today. <laughs> this is fine. I mean, this is like, you know, I feel like maybe if I actually like pulled out like a notepad and tech, but instead I just, oh, like another tab on my phone and just that's the research. So at some point when I say I've had enough, just declare bankruptcy and close all the tabs. It's fine. There's no quiz. It's not pass fail. It's all right. Would you like taking notes, like in an actual? Oh notebook? no, no, absolutely not. No, it okay. would be it would go from being like fun exploration to like a, a task. So no, okay. not at all. No, no. But the way I described it to make it sound like very much fun, and I apologize for that because I, <laughs> I actually was having a ball. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, this isn't like it was. It's like a, it's like a Wikipedia hole, but just different avenue. So, there we are. There we are. I have started journaling. I haven't journaled since high school. I started. It's it's weird to start. I realize that it's it's weird when you start a a thing because then it's like you have this sense that there needs to be like an explanation of why we're here. Like you need to define the essence of this thing that you're writing, which is really ridiculous like you can start wherever and end whenever and no one's going to read it because no and no one cares but like there is still this like i felt like i had to like okay so now that i'm here i need to get all this shit out um and now after i've gotten the shit out okay there it is now now what and now <laughs> here, we are. <laughs> here we are <laughs> i had an okay day yesterday <laughs> well that i was going to ask you that like is there a point like where you you feel like like, do you set time boundaries for journaling, no. or do you you just say like I'm gonna write until I feel like I've captured all of the shit? I uh, I wrote until I felt like I captured all the shit, and then my next entry is I wrote until I felt like I was done or didn't really have anything else to talk about. Um, I feel like it's gonna be like a feast and famine sort of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Which reminds me, I probably should do it today at some point because <laughs> it's gonna have been a couple days. Yeah, I want to get into the habit because, like, the other thing that I realized in this process and that, that um, when, when Aaron suggested journaling uh, a while ago just to get, like, the shit in my head out, I sort of made me think about, like, the last time when I did stuff like that, which was in high school. And when I was in high school, I wrote, I journaled, I wrote, po like, I wrote poetry, I wrote stories, I wrote songs, I screamed, like, I was in, like, made music, like, there's all these outlets for getting what was inside me, my by my my being and my head out into the world and just like be done with it. That like um like ever since then, like being an adult has meant sort of like keeping all that shit in and not letting it get out. Um mm -hmm. and like I was probably way healthier in high school than I am now. Um and because part of that is that like all of those things, all those outlets um, even screaming um, is in one way or other uh, like acceptable when you're a teenager because, oh, teenagers are, are just going through some things, but it's not acceptable or not as acceptable, I suppose, um, as yeah. an adult because you're supposed to be respectable and, you know, like 
have your shit where's your briefcase like, yeah 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 <laughs> fuck that shit um so yeah that's that's my goal is to, to try to reclaim some of my uh high school uh uh i don't know not energy but like um the the ability to to vent my shit in a way that is not destructive to others yeah i i want to ask questions about journaling but i'm afraid if i ask questions like i will influence like how you approach it hmm. can i put a reminder to ask you about it in a month? You can, <laughs> i think you can that ask, you can ask you're questions. giving yourself a lot of credit <laughs> yeah you can ask questions <laughs> well you might be yeah okay so no let's move on Let's move on. It's not oh important. no, I didn't mean to squash it. No, it's okay. I, I, it's okay. I, it's fine. fine. Gary wants to see the experiment continue and then come back to it and see, and then at that point, then ask the questions about how the, how the practice has evolved. Yeah, without, exactly. Without, uh, without input. I don't want to like make a suggestion that would that then like becomes a, the thing. A niggling yeah. thought, right? Like observation is interruption in the experiment, so. I want to put Chris on a hamster wheel and see what happens. I mean, I feel fairly confident in That's my actually true. approach, journal, but I mean, not to say that that wouldn't be awesome. influenced and I'm not in your hamster wheel. Oh, I should build a big hamster wheel. Let me move. You've That's seen the thing those, for right? the new house. Yeah. The new yeah. house you can build a hamster wheel. The new house. So, um, I guess while we're being meta today and I'm eating um, bugs, uh, I don't think we can record next week because I will be unloading a truck. Okay. Valid. Yeah. That's meta. But you two should. It'll just be a Gary themed episode where we talk about you. I mean, it won't matter. I won't listen. <laughs> we'll just be like, this is the biography of Gary, and then we'll make up a story about your origin hey, story. We're I think I think this show works when it's the three of us. I think it works. I mean, I think not that I wouldn't love to chat with you, Allison, but I think that <laughs> as 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 a podcast, as a show, I think that this works best when there are all three of us instead of instead of lesser of us. Agreed. Yeah, I think. Wait, am I the lesser? Either. No, when we are fewer, <laughs> when we are not, when we are not, when we are not, we are not fully or lesser. I know. I just thought it was. Funny. <laughs> Um, one element missing. Yeah. One elephant missing. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I mean, we have had other instances. I mean, even in recent memory, that that we haven't recorded because one or one yes. of us hasn't been available. And I think this is another such case. And I don't think we need to make a special exception because you're moving. Okay. And have a have a talk about Gary episode. We can talk about you okay. when you're on here. Yeah, no, we can talk about <laughs> you. <in your> <laughs> yeah. I love um I was at a uh, a word camp several years ago and like a speaker presenter or whatever like could, like uh, somehow couldn't make it last minute. So scrambling to find someone to go in their place. So naturally like the MC has no bio for this person that comes in and the person's like just make up whatever you want. So they did. It was fantastic. The like the the room moderator like made up like a totally legit sounding, completely bullshit bio about this person. Um, I mean, like including like hobbies and stuff. I mean, it sounded like just like something you'd grab from like a, like a WordPress website. Like not contrived. Like totally like didn't sound make it made up at all. And uh, and then the the speaker got up and they were like. Uh, that was fantastic. Absolutely none of it is true, but I would like to meet that person. <laughs> it, was, it was very cool because like no one in the room knew what the gig was and then they explained and uh, it, was, anyway, it, was, it happened. So what does our, our topic today mean? Is it Japanese first and foremost? If that's the most important thing. <laughs> the most important question. Um, yes, to answer your question, it is. Um, it is a subgenre of mystery fiction. Oh. And it loosely translates into "you mystery." So, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> um, so it's okay. mysteries that deal with really grisly episodes, dark side of human nature, stuff that really makes you blurt out "you" when you're reading. Um, 
Wow. I'm glad that there's of a genre. Of course there. that's a Japanese subgenre of mystery. Yeah. Of course it is. I was reading a, I was reading a book and I looked up the author and she's the queen of I'm I am Misu and I was like, oh that's awesome. Yeah, I think wow. I think I think Misu is probably is probably how you pronounce that given that yeah. context. Ia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's a shame. I I want to have my my Iemisu ladyfinger like not quite tiramisu. But maybe it's it, in that tinge of it. It's like a dessert where you go ew. <laughs> yeah, they're actually shaped like ladyfingers. Yeah. yeah, it's more dramatic and dark. Yeah. Right. It's like wait, is there actually cartilage in this? Oh, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> like raspberry yes, sauce. Yes, I did it. <laughs> uh, we actually do have a question today. Uh, as oh as always, uh, as always, you as listeners can submit questions to us on the show. Uh, if you are listening, you can submit questions either via Twitter uh, at Binary Jazz, or you go to the website, which is binaryjazz.us, and click on the little contact link. I mean, it's at the bottom of the page too. You can just scroll, uh, but there's a contact form, and then it submits a question, and it goes into the website, and then we can see it, and then we read hey. it. And then if you're not a person listening and you don't want to uh, submit a question and you're just some spammer, we'll read that too. Uh, and we'll answer whatever question it is that you're asking. Like, you know, do we yeah. need uh, like more lawnmower traffic, more repair? Traffic, more traffic. Uh, and, is that the question and, for today? No, the question is okay. not, do we need more lawnmower repair? Okay. Uh, the question for the day uh, from Allison Good. is what is the difference between a terrace and a balcony? There's Gary's answer. <laughs> <laughs> difference like is horse. It's a good one. It's a good question. What is the difference? Uh, I would say that uh, oh, I terrace know. means more than just like a thing you walk out on. Terrace also means like uh, like when there are levels that go both up and back, I believe. Um, like uh you know that that apartment complex is terraced it sort of means like there's you know there's there's a sort of a vertical but also horizontal movement and so i would posit that terrace uh the a terrace would be uh something that you, something relating to that where it goes out and back and so it's not necessarily even uh, a place outside but maybe it's if it is it might be like you're actually standing on 